surrender or pay the consequences. Writers, looks like we're coming to a commercial. Let's fight the zone. Sorry, Tucker. It was a reflex action. And that's all right, General. At least it was a surprise. I thought you were the Black Widows. They've broken into my house before, you know. Max, before we lose you, too. Well, I guess we're even now, General. I took a shot at you once indirectly. Uh... His name is Ned Tucker. <laughs> He's Australian. He has a master's degree in physics. Five years in the military, and so far, a perfect score on the firing range. Perfect? 
Yeah, sorry, General. Must have hit the wrong switch there. He's also the most undisciplined officer I've ever seen. But he's a first-class soldier. Well, we've replaced that target on the firing range. The new one looks like you. You are not the only one to be blasted by General McFarlane, Ned. Sorry, Doctor. You are on our side, General. At least most of the time. I'm just glad Dirk was there to stop me. Are they all right? They're inside. I want to talk to you, Commander. I just wanted to thank you for saving my family. I don't know what I'd do if... It's all part of the job. Forget it. You don't think a military man should have a family, do you, Dirk? You made your decision, I made mine. I just wish I knew which one of us is right. The Zone Riders are your family. Does that include you? Especially me. The General is not only good with a needler gun, he's also a martial arts expert. The old-fashioned kind. This should be enough to put the whole building to sleep. Thank you for your help, doctors. I feel much better now. Politicians don't take the meaning out of victory. are destroying us. How does being in command look to you now? I've had enough of you. Overlord! I've taken over the UN building. 
Meet me on the roof with Intruder. Immediately. Yes, Overlord. Where are you, Duchess Dyer? Come in, Duchess Dyer. Duchess Dyer! The Zone Riders will be back. And now we return with more Spiral Zone action. You're just an old man, McFarland. Desktop general. Perhaps, General, you could teach me the technique you used against Overlord. I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, you can't get the General to tell you anything, Hero. Uh, not unless he wants to. He's right, Hero. Remember when the General didn't want us to know that he'd sent Dirk into the zone? I'm sorry to have to tell you that Commander Courage's plane has crash-landed in New York. Where are you going? I'm surprised you have to ask, Doctor. To find Commander Courage, of course! I can't let you do that. And if we decide to do it anyway, General? I can order you to stay here. You would not be doing this without a very good reason, General. And we deserve to know what it is. Yes, there is a good reason. And I guess you do deserve to know what it is. Maybe he's in there. Let's take a look. Don't be stupid, Razorback. Courage is excellent with a needler. I guess we better keep looking. This is the new M7 Biomolecular Computer Interface. Very interesting, but what has this got to do with the Commander? Commander Courage has entered the New York Zone in an imitation suit in order to be zoned and captured by Overlord. What? what? A chip like this is implanted just behind his ear. 
At the proper time, it will order him, in Overlord's voice, to destroy the New York generator. With that generator out, the UN forces can move into the area. Precisely. We've been tracking him since he intentionally crash-landed his jet. Sooner or later, Overlord will find him and take him to his headquarters. And when he does, we'll trigger the biochip. Yeah, man is one brave cobber, right enough. It's hell! Something's gone wrong. The implant has stopped transmitting. Something's happened to it. Or to Dirk. No sign of courage so far, Overlord. We must find him. Once I have his suit, I can devise a means to render all of them useless. I got him. He's soon. I'm bringing him in. I always wanted a dog, but you'll do till I get you to overload. I don't care how you do it, just bring Dirk back. We will, General. You can count on it. In my day, a soldier never asked questions of a superior officer. Well, you can't expect everyone to be as spit and polished as you are, General. I can remember one time when being spit and polished saved my life. The Airbus is late. <laughs> In a few moments, General McFarland will be ours. Ah, big nurse made to a lot of nervous diplomats. The plane's coming in. Look alive. Now for the magic touch. You will no longer be needing this. Just call me Major. Welcome aboard, General. You must have picked up your co-pilot's hat, Major. You're wearing a captain's... Get down! I only wish Overlord hadn't escaped later. Someday we will get him. Steven doesn't really mind fighting Overlord. What he hates is having to send others out to risk their lives. Time to command the courage. Only one shell left. I am moving closer. I read you, Sergeant. Just make it count.
we can't get that wheat to Europe, millions will starve. But we can't keep them there any longer. They've been fighting for almost 24 hours. They have to stay. There's no choice. Montreal is critical. Amy's right. The worst thing is being what Overlord called me, a desktop general. Well, I better put Sarah to bed. Say goodnight to everyone, Sarah. Uh, I'm not sleepy. You've let your ice cream melt. I've never known you to let food go to waste. I don't want any ice cream. What do you think we are doing here, playing birthday games in the middle of a war? Tank. I'll go talk to him. What's wrong, Tank? It's March 3rd. Yes, I know. McFarland's birthday. It is also Joseph's birthday. My son is 11 today. Do you think he even knows what day it is? Inside the zone? You'll find him someday, Tank. The zone writers and I will see that you do. The Spiral Zone won't last forever. We'll be right back with more Spiral Zone action. And now we return with more Spiral Zone adventure. Earth's most powerful soldiers fight the Spiral Zone Riders, Earth's most powerful soldiers. 